Okay, so on um, Dr. Baumia and um, what he said and the whole idea of uh, media encounter, I want to have a holistic assessment of um, everything that was done there. Um, I must put it on record. I have a lot of respect for Dr. Baumia and um, I, I, I think that uh, in my view, he came in as a very gentle person, gentle person, and um, I want him to stick to that posture because there are people who are rough and they appeal to a certain segment of the voting population, and there are people who are very gentle, and they also have the people, the, the kinds of people they appeal to, and um, sometimes in an attempt to change, switch from one uh, one posture or persona to the other, mm -hmm. you have a lot of difficulty. So I believe he's a gentleman. He should play his politics as a gentle person he is. And then he would, have, he would definitely have the people um, he appealed to. Um, he would definitely endear himself to the people that um, he appeals to. Um, the media encounter. I, I, I try to look at the caliber of people that he encountered. Number one, how were they um, selected? You said you were not there, but okay, how were they selected? We heard that um, some people were not allowed to go. Why were they not allowed to go? And then, more importantly, what were the, the questions that they, they posed? Um, some asked very sensible questions. Some um, uh, um, asked very useless questions. Um, if you've had the opportunity um, to s speak to a presidential hopeful, you are supposed to um, articulate concerns that um, um, reflect the mood and sensibilities of the good people of Ghana. Some asked very sensible questions. Some asked very useless questions. And I wonder how they, they got the opportunity um, um, to be there. And in terms of responding, um, the, the responses of, the, of Dr. Bamud Baumia, you see, I was um, a bit surprised. You see, um, I have followed the conduct of uh, the, uh, I have followed such engagement with people who are expected or who are perceived to be very discerning from from 2004 when I worked at the IEA till 2018 that I left. So when I was there, we're working on we're doing what we called media engagement, mm -hmm. town hall meetings, and presidential debates. Yeah. Now, oftentimes, ruling governments do not participate in presidential debates okay ruling government would always want to shun presidential debates in the history of presidential debates in ghana i think it's only one that a certain government participated and oh, that was so 2012 yes. when ndc in government had actually boycotted they said they were not going to do it then suddenly Prof. Mills died and Mahama had just less than three months could, to contest an election. And an election that he was not prepared to contest. And then suddenly the certain president died. And then he had to find a way to um, engage the people and there himself. So then the NDC that had gone out of its way to say we will not participate suddenly came back okay, to say they will participate. So that was the first time. And the reason why certain governments always shy away from from um, such presidential engagement. such engagement mm -hmm. is that um, they see that look you are going to be if it's debate for instance um, you are going to be if you don't take time ambushed by so many or the rest of the aspirants who may not who may not be happy with what is going on and they, they're going to be throwing every they're going to highlight the challenges and keep all the blames you know on you so often they, they, they want to, they would always want to stay away from such mm -hmm. um, um, platforms where, where the blames may be heaped on them by the other aspirants. Now, whether you like it or not, it is only the one who is not asleep and pretending to be sleeping 
who would openly and boldly say that things are not hard in Ghana. It is only the one who wants to tickle himself and laugh who will say that things are not bad in Ga uh, are not hard in Ghana. It is only the one who is benefiting from what is going on. It is only the one who doesn't buy fuel. It is only the one who doesn't go to ma the market or when he goes to market, whatever he buys, he has enough resources being sponsored, you know, given to him or her by the state. Who will say that things are not hard? I mean, to the ordinary Ghanaian, things are very difficult. As I speak to you, as Utah president, I have members, my members who are going on retirement, and they keep asking me, is my pension going to be paid? Are we going to receive? It's never happened before. You work hard, and when you are going on pension, you smile to the bank. We have our GU. People, people are asking, so are they going to pay? There are so many things that are happening that are unprecedented. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, so, if you are a vice president and you've been given the mandate to lead your party as flag bearer and we are in such difficult times and some or many of the difficulties cannot be placed at your doorstep, it becomes surprising for you to mount that platform that I want to engage them. You see, but when he decided to do that, I said, well, Ojanya Wasson Wancho, no beko no da bonting. Okusye se, obet na kwa ntim ponsua, oni mrika na owo akukudro. So how do I say it in English? Ojanya Wasson Wancho. See, a goat that is confident um, is uh, always... <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> well, some of the things you say it in the tree. See, Okusi say obet na kwantem pon. So, if you see Okusi on the high road, it means it is either com it, it it has it has the power to run faster, or it is very confident. So, I said, well, the man knows what he's up to. So, if he wants to engage, then let us listen to. But I thought that politically, it was an unwise thing. Because you the media, yes, because Why? no, 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 hold on. Because you were going to be taking on questions and blame of your boss that you may not be able to offer adequate answer to. And if you are not able to answer adequately, then you take the blame. <coughs> For instance, I was I was very worried about his his response about the Tamale um Sunyani um shooting at the chiman sorry the chiman shootings you could see that it's not this one it cannot be blamed on him but he was boxed in the corner to respond and then you can see the stammering and all that. I say oh these things are not good for him let me say it. some people in the end they don't like it when i say but let me say it you see go read our constitution and look at the role that is given to a vice president just go and read it see a vice president has no role Apart from some minor, minor things that are given. So if you have a president... No, but the president gave him a role. Mm -hmm. um, you let me... Let, I don't know what... Uh, uh, I mean, that he was, he was coming to fix the problem. Yes. Oh, you let me, let me do my <laughs> argument. <laughs> the so, so the point is, uh, honestly... But Amir um, has also given a uh, point. <laughs> and honestly, see, if you get a daring president, a president who wants to be a political king con, a president who loves fans, a president who wants to take every accolade and every praise, he would not give you anything to do. You would just be there. And so it is well, it may well be true that the president told the whole of Ghana that, look, Baumia is going to do X, Y, Z. But if he said that, it may just be that, well, I was saying that, you know, when he was being made, uh, he was um, being considered there were huge rejections people didn't mm. like it and the president had to say things to 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 to, to win um, the hearts of those who didn't like it so it may well be that, that look, he was sold as well it, it, it will be that it will it may well be that the president used those descriptions just to sell him i'm just making a point you let me finish mm. so 
It is possible that he came in. Yeah, well, <laughs> it is so come to stop that. I said, don't put me and come <laughs> together. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So it may well be that um, president just marketed him, but you get in there and you see the power blocks. I'm telling you, there are power blocks in the MPP now that are more powerful than the, uh, the vice president, even though he's number two. So you see the power blocks. We know of the conflict between him. And the finance minister, that finance minister was not even attending his meetings. And all. We know. So you see the power blocks. And you know that you, you, you see your smoothness level. That you may be a running mate. You may have been marketed. But then eventually there may be nothing that you may be able to do. <laughs> but you see, to be taken serious, to be taken serious, I, I would have laughed to hear. And I would have, I would have respected him even more. If he had appealed to Ghanaians, if he had confessed, okay, he's done that. No, no, you, you don't know where I'm going. You yeah, let me finish. Yeah, he's done that. You, you okay. let, let me go. Yeah. Let, you don't know where I'm going. On the 18th. No, no, he, you, he, he you, 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 I know where I'm going. You, yeah. you wait. <laughs> no, just for the record. No, no, no. no. I, 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 you see, would, would come to that. Um, Ponko, mama, agenda. You see, if, if your Ponko is going somewhere, he knows where he's going. He doesn't care. care. Yes. So you let me go. I know where I'm going. Ponko, mama, agenda. You see, <laughs> listen, you. When you were in an opposition, you created an impression in the psyche of many Ghanaians that a vice president has so much to do to change the governance of a country. So you hunted Jabesh, well, um, Kwesi Imisa Atta. Every opportunity that you had, you told your mind, you told him your mind, culminating in the posing of the 170 questions. Well, you see, Emisata, a gentleman, he would just <laughs> and, um, nod and then just move away, and he was not. But in my mind, you, you festered a certain impression in the psyche of many Ghanaians that a vice president can do so much. And now Kwesi Bekwe Mr. Atta was being incompetent. He, can't, he couldn't do this. He cannot do that. He cannot do He said all that. Okay. The man is dead and gone. Now you have become a vice president. When you went in there, then you realized that so many things um, cannot be done by a vice president and that's how come you keep referring to yourself as being there and i'm being only a mate mm -hmm. okay now when you started referring or before referring yourself to being only a mate what would have won the hearts of Ghanaians would have been a public apology first of all to the family of the late emisa atta that look Hey, Mr. Atta and your family, I was wrong. When I was in opposition, I thought the vice president could do so much. But I got into the seat and realized that you can do nothing. You should have and so, and so I, am, I am sorry to the family of Mr. Atta for doing that, those things to you. You see, there is nothing wrong. In fact, people don't know when you are wrong and you say you are sorry, they are a, you have a critical mass of descending citizenry who see you more as a darling. Then President Kufo. J. A. Kufo, let me come to that. It was Kufo who provoked me to undertake my first ever published paper, presidential appointment, sorry, ministerial appointments and government expenditure in Ghana. Okay? It was the Kufo who provoked me to do this. He had criticized Jerry Rollins. He has likened and compared Ghana to America. And said, if you compare Ghana to America, Ghana is like, um, it's a Lilliputian state. If you read the Gulliver's Travel. Yes. <laughs> Lilliputian. Ghana is a very small, <coughs> minute, <coughs> infinitesimal state compared to America. But America had less than 40 ministers. And Ghana then, under Jerry Rollins, had 82 ministers. Kufo made a big deal out of it. Now, Kufo became president. And then he appointed 88 ministers. And then you guys in the media went to ask him. Mm -hmm. But you were criticizing Rollins. 
Why are that he had 82 ministers? Why have you appointed 88 ministers? And the court said, yes, I am sorry. When I was in opposition, I saw things different. See, it's like draft. Huh? When, when you get into that, get into, when you get to sit down and then you are playing, then you see that no, it, you, you don't know anything. Okay, so the man, Jay Kufo, came in to say that, look, I apologize. I said it when I was in opposition, but when I got there, I realized that things were different. Mm -hmm. So forgive me. The same Kufo was likened to Atai by Rollins. Kufonye, Atayinye, Kufonye, Atayinye. And then he got angry and responded harshly to Rollins. And when he responded harshly to Rollins, there were people, elderly people around him who were happy. And there was what he can be actually, you know, elderly people around him. But the elderly partisan sycophants around him who were very happy. What he can be actually, you know. But some discerning people later went to him and said, Mr. Kufo, you spoke out of character. This is not who you are. And that's why I'm saying that Bar Baromia should be himself. You know him mm -hmm. to be a gentleman. He said, you spoke out of character. That is not who you are. You shouldn't have responded to Kufo ni Atayi. The next time he had the opportunity, he apologized to Ghani and said, uh, I, 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 I think I spoke out of character. I shouldn't have said that. And people applauded. So my point is that mm -hmm. Dr. Baromia should have first apologized to the family of Emisata. That, look, when you were vice president, I was hunting you. I thought you could do X, Y, Z. But um, I got to become a vice president. And I realized that hey, the position of a vice president, especially when you are working with a president like Nana Kufuadu, that you can see his utterances, his posturing, his persona, and the kinds of things that he does. He loves power. He's a political king con. And so <laughs> if he decides to surround himself with other power blocks, then you are a pale shadow of yourself as a vice president. Because there's nothing that you can do much to bring him through. So you should have said this, apologize to Ghanaians, and after apologizing, then you can say, now, I want to, I, I, I'm looking for the opportunity to be myself. Clearly, clearly there are so many things that you can do. Because I said, I had him. And you rightly mentioned that he said on Peace FM, he openly, before the introduction of E-Levy, he had openly said he didn't like it. But if he didn't like it and he, was, and, and he was number two, why is his dislike, uh, why did his dislike not reflect in the final policy? It tells you that you may be a vice I've president. I've said that he opposed it, but he, 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 his voice could only reach so far. Uh, well, 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 so it tells you that you may be a vice president, but there is an extent to which your voice could go. And so in that regard, I mean, the EMT only provides an advisory role <laughs> to cabinet that is very very important okay no, 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 fine so the then emisa atta who was heading the emt that could only advise was hunted severely hardly and harshly okay and so if you did that and then you got in to realize that your role could merely be advisory what should you do to those of us who can descend yep. You, 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 should, you should come. Yeah. First of all, say that when you guys were talking, I was quiet. Why are no, 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 you enjoying no, no, no. so much? Sorry. sorry. What, what? Senior sorry. Minister. No, 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 no. I'm enjoying it. You are worrying me. No, no, no. I would. No, no, no. So, so, you see, I, I, I thought, I, I thought, I, I thought, I thought that, um, oh, you people too. Ah, gentlemen. Uh, that, that thing that you wanted, I don't like. Let me continue. Like, you, you see, you are making me well, even. Say, say, say. See, I will say whatever I want to say anyway, yeah. so don't, don't, don't heckle me. <laughs> okay, so you should have apologized first um, when you had that opportunity. And then also, coming back to the, the, the kinds of things, you see his responses, some of the things you could see that, look, look, this one, um, you are just taking on the baggage of somebody who has uh, misgoverned. And it was, for me, it wasn't too good. I don't think that it achieved. You are looking for votes. You are looking for votes. So I would advise this free consultancy, go to the people who vote. But if you can't, because given the, the press, the, the difficulties of the time, if you meet any descendant, descendant person, I mean, the kinds of questions that they may ask and the responses that you may give, 
given the fact that you were not really in charge i mean you may be a pale shadow of yourself put that aside